Aloha, Susan Gray. I just wanted to talk a little bit about happy, joyous, and free. We've been having a lot of rain lately. Rain, 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 rain. When I first moved to the Big Island, we had two or three weeks of rain. And I think of somewhere around the second week, I looked at my partner, B and I said, mm, I'm moving, can't handle it. And we haven't really had that kind of no sun, constant rain for a while. And we've been having it lately. And B has been um, incapacitated since March of last year. So I've been doing all the gardening and taking care of the chickens. And this morning I walked up to take care of the chickens. And it was in between rains, you know, and... When it rains here, it really rains. And lately, when it rains, it's been raining really big raindrops. I was in between one of those big rains, and I looked around, and I thought, well, you know, I could make myself miserable by what I tell myself, or I can be happy, joyous, and free. And so I took care of the chickens, and then I walked up to my garden, and <laughs> I had to walk through several semi streams and lots of mud and I got up to the garden and the rain has been watering the weeds wonderfully but I just allowed myself to enjoy it and I had my big umbrella my golf umbrella and I started to weed my strawberry patch and it started to rain really hard and it's interesting trying to weed a strawberry patch while holding a big umbrella but I did and I really allowed myself to enjoy it, to experience joy. And to just be in that energy of happy, joyous, and free. And I looked around at my creations, and in January, it's time for me to fertilize my lotus plants. I have lots of lotus plants. I have white ones and yellow ones and pink ones. And I looked, and one of my pink lotus reminded me, it's time to fertilize me. Because there's a big bud. And had I stayed with, oh, it's raining, oh, ah, yeah. I First of all, I would have taken care of the chickens and come home. And instead, I went up to the garden and I looked around and I enjoyed myself. And I'm very grateful that one of my lotuses is about to bloom. And sometime this week, hopefully, I'll go to town and I'll buy some. I feed my lotus uh, fertilizer that comes in like a looks like a little plug, little barrel. And I'll get some of that and I'll fertilize and then all spring and summer a beautiful lotus. So happiness, joy, feeling loved, all that stuff is not externally motivated or created. We create it ourselves by what we tell ourselves. You know, today I decided, you know, yes, it's been raining for weeks and yes, there's mud everywhere, and I can enjoy it. And ironically, before this rain started, we were having semi-droughts, and I was having to go up to the back part of my property and water my um, orchard. Certainly don't have to water my orchard now. You know, so do you want to be happy? Do you want to experience joy? Do you want to feel loved? If you answered yes to any of those and you're not feeling them, just change your thinking. Notice what you tell yourself that makes you feel unloved. Notice what you tell yourself that is a joy killer, you know. I mean, I was really making myself miserable for a while with the rain. And it's just water falling from heaven. And occasionally when the sun peeks out, if you look in the right place, you'll see a rainbow. You have rainbows. There are lots of rainbows in your life. And just let them fill your heart and your mind and your thinking. So just let yourself be loved. Let yourself feel joy and let yourself be happy. Be happy. Don't worry. You know, just really allow yourself. And if you want some help changing your filter system, yeah. Just look below. There's a link to my website. You'll find lots of suggestions. And probably in about two or three weeks, I'm starting a new class called Dancing with the Divine. 
Until next time, aloha.